Hello, this is our first video in the uh, socket video playlist where we examine different connections where uh, socket, some say web socket connections. In this video, we will talk about UDP connection, which will be implemented as a UDP server in the ESP IDF 5.0 and here what we will do is send messages from our PC via post command to the ESP32 via Wi-Fi connection after establishing a socket connection just a quick reminder uh, was, why is our fourth video and what's the difference between other videos that we have uh, published is uh, starting from OSI model which was mentioned previously in this video we are mainly concentrated on the transport layer we will, we will implement the connection in physical layer where Wi-Fi radio we will uh, send the data link layer via Wi-Fi. We will only talk about IP4 connection for simplicity reasons. And we will examine the UDP transport layer. In the previous videos, we talked about TCP server and client uh, implementation regarding the transport layer. In our first video, we talked about a a HTTP uh, protocols. Another uh, quick reminder that the difference in one sentence between TCP and UDP transport layer is that TCP, each message is independently verified. When UDP uh, have an advantage of continuous data stream without verification. Of course, it's extremely simplified explanation. You can look uh, regarding more elaborate and more accurate explanations online, but essentially we can present it this way. Uh, regarding our sources, we are continuing uh, our usage of expressive site uh, with the source of lightweight TCP IP stack, so we're using these uh, libraries uh, ALWIP. And here we examine the TCP server and client, and we will concentrate here in this video on the UDP server implementation. In this link, you will see one file which implements this uh, I think it's a pretty good example but of course we simplified it uh, with removing the v6 connections and uh, implemented directly the connection and not via example here example file so we have all the solutions of the Wi-Fi connection and the uh, UDP implementation in one file in a very simple form. So our files are uh, saved in Sims IoT devices repositories where all the series regarding sockets is uh, saved in the socket repository and here we're talking about force file which which uh, deals with UDP socket server. The UDP socket server connection between PC and ESP32 board is here, UDP socket server. So we are basically taking this file and pasting it to our new project. Okay. Now we will see this file in this uh, VS Code editor as a new project. The same includes as uh, in uh, this series for sake of simplicity. We are talking about specific port which is defined here. Here we can see that the socket server board is talking to us and uh, 
the server will listen to messages that will be sent from the PC. Here we have the UDP server task implementation, one function, and the Wi-Fi handler and Wi-Fi connection will enable us to implement the Wi-Fi connection. So you have, you have, uh, you can see everything in one file of 150 or so lines. We establish the Wi-Fi connection and then uh, examine the UDP uh, server connection. So in this video we'll talk only about this function because Wi-Fi connection was explained in the previous videos. So we are talking only about this. And we will uh, uh, compile flash our uh, code on the ESP32 board via USB connection. And uh, here we are trying to establish a UDP socket server, UDP server on the uh, board. Okay. Um, we establish the server and dynamically allocated this IP on the server. So this is our server IP that was given us by the net. Here we updated that the socket was created here. And uh, we successfully bound the port number, specific numbers that we defined. So the socket was bound. And now we are waiting for data. We didn't receive the data, so we are here in this while loop when the length of the data is less than less or equal to zero, you are writing that the data wasn't received. So once in a I don't know once in a while we have some uh, sort of uh, wait function and uh, we receive that the data wasn't received the message that the data wasn't received. So, in order to move forward, we will uh, use the ncat command in the UDP mode, please note a uh, dash u UDP mode with specific IP address, which is here, and with a specific port that we have uh, um, defined in our program. Now we can send the continuous messages. For example, I will send A. Let's see here. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, you can see here A. We can see B. And uh, we can see a string A, B, C, D, F. And you see that we have received the string. And so we're waiting the, for the data. For, so, to summarize, what we have seen here is an implementation of the server, the connection between the PC and the server via Wi-Fi, and continuous uh, sending of data and receiving the data on the ESP32 server and via socket in UDP mode. Thank you.